Hey everybody! I just wanted to do a video today about our new marking pens. I say new, I think technically we got them in July or a little later. Here in St. Louis we still have so many Sharpies that we are just now getting around to these. So if you go to your location you might see that you have Sharpies and these. You might not have these yet, but I really want to talk about them and I really wanted to do a video with you. Um, first of all, if your location has both, what I highly, highly recommend you do is start practicing these on adults. With these markers, when you, when you clean the ear, you have to wait for it to completely dry and you have to do the mark. This is going to be challenging with children. You have to say from the get-go that this is a sterile pen, sterile marking pen, and that they cannot touch their ear. It's going to be hard. So start practicing with adults and older children or teenagers, okay? So what I want to show you is first, I'm going to do it on my forearm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my arm. And I want to show you first, I'll mark it over here where it's not wet. See, perfect dot. And this is still a little wet. I'll try to see if it bleeds. I think I did let it dry too quickly, which is great. But if you clean the area really good and then mark it, that's when you're gonna get that bleed, okay? So what I have been doing as I have been experimenting with these is I clean the ears. I use one, I open another one, I clean the other ear as like an initial clean, and then I open another pack and then I clean again. No fanning to dry, let it air dry completely. This is when you could be loading your devices, making small talk, whatever. Um, and then once it dries, hang on, let me see how my arm's looking. So there's the original dot and the other dots, I don't know how well you can see on camera, they did grow a little bit. Um, the, the other problem is, sorry, fumbling around. So let's clean. So if you clean after you have marked, it will bleed again. Now it's, yeah, it, so it's a little blurrier. It's kind of gotten bigger as opposed to my first initial mark. So you wanna clean and you wanna mark, nobody should touch the ear. If it looks good, you are not gonna do another cleaning. That's when you're gonna go straight for the piercing. If you get it and someone touches it, unfortunately, you do have to start over. You have to erase the mark, let it completely dry, and then mark it again. Obviously, if the mark is not right, you know, do it until it's right. Um, but no cleaning after the mark, okay? So I just wanted to talk about that. Um, also, something to consider is masks. So with these pens, since they are sterile and we don't want to do any more touching or cleaning after the fact, they should unloop their masks from the beginning if they do not take their mask off, okay? So unloop both, and if they don't want to take it off, have them hold it the entire time. You do your markings, check it out, and then go from there. And that's it. So again, I really, really want you to practice on adults first because it is a new learning curve with these. Sorry, my hands are blue. I did the uh, color of my hair. Um, so anyway, please reach out with questions. Um, you can always call me, um, you know, just, I still do work on Saturdays with you guys because we are still so short staffed. So call me if you can, if you can't reach out to whoever, um, urgent line, things like that, but take one home and practice just like you did in the beginning, just like you, um, practice on people from the beginning, like take it home, practice on your husband, boyfriend, kids, mom, whatever. Just practice on people if you feel like you need it because it is a learning curve. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Always, always reach out to me if you need anything, okay? Thank you guys for everything you do. You're awesome. Bye.